Hello, my darlings. Happy Thursday to you all. And welcome to Let's Build. Welcome to part two of Wasworth House. We're going to carry on finishing up this one today. Um, I may have changed a few things from last time. I went back to it earlier and I was just like, I don't like the look of this. Don't like the look of it. I'm not getting the vibe. So I went ahead and changed a few things. Went ahead and changed a few things, bro. Oh, I've just forgot. Look at my new light, my new lamp. It probably just looks like a line up the wall because that's what I wanted. But it's this really cool kind of LED lamp and I can kind of change all the colors to it. They're probably not showing very well on cam, but I love it. I absolutely love it. That will do until I can get my neon sign made. I really want a neon sign, but they're bloody expensive. They really are. Um, yeah, that's the introduction today. Let's get straight into game. So here we are, my loves. Before I introduce you to the Wasworth family that are going to be moving in here, I'm going to show you what I've made a start on. There's things that definitely need to be changed around in here. Um, I've made it a bit more like a log cabin and I kind of like it. It's still looking old. I'm not, I'm unsure about the roofing now. Like the roof texture, I'm thinking about laying up all of these logs and making the roof a whole kind of log cabbing moment. But I thought I would leave that for today so you guys can kind of see what I've been doing because, my lord, I've been laying up these logs like nobody's business just to hide the hideous underneath of the Sims 4 ceilings. Um, and obviously I've changed the wallpapers and stuff around, the orientation of the stairs and things. There's still lots of work that needs to be done to this. I just want this to look like it's made out of the surrounding environment. I really, really wanted that for this house. So that is where we're going to go. I'm going to change these doors as well now, now that I'm looking at them. Maybe just changing the colour down a little bit more. That's a bit better. Mm, maybe not that brown though. Maybe something else. Oh, that's nice. It's just a little bit richer. A little bit richer. Does this come in a darker one? It does. But it's a flat dark and we don't want that. That's all right, actually. That's not too bad. I'm going into door colours. We haven't even introduced you to the new characters, my loves. Um, This is a father and son. This is a father and son moment that we're having in here. So it's a single dad with his son. This is Lawrence Woswith. He is brothers with the headmaster of Woswith School of Witchcraft and Spellcasting. <laughs> <laughs> and this is his gorgeous son, Solomon was with. So Solomon is really, really good friends with Blair and Alexandra. They're the trio that we're going to be playing around with. When I do a little mini Let's Play for this, I'm probably going to do like one or two episodes, maybe just one Let's Play episode of Glimmerbrook because I just I just want to get onto the next lands, loves. I'm loving do, building these houses, but I just want to get on and do some more real life characters, characters that we can kind of like relate to and stuff. Um, I'm finding it a little bit difficult to kind of not relate to these characters, but also think up storylines for them and things. I want to get I want to get back into real life. I do. And that's what I'm going to have to do. But yeah, Solomon is I'm definitely going to say Solomon is a homosexual. He loves his fashion. He's got a very cool fashion sense. I do love what he wears. Um, he's a little bit of a troublemaker, but he's still quite good. He's still quite good. I reckon he's probably around the, about the age of 17, 17-ish. Maybe a little bit older than the two girls that he hangs out with. Um, and he just wants to make his dad happy. Now, his dad is actually a human. I know. I wanted the storyline to come through with his dad. His dad lost his powers. And his dad lost his powers because of the heartbreak that ensued when he lost his wife. I think he renounced his wand. He his, this will come into the storyline a bit later on what happened to his wife um and yeah he just turned his back on magic and never wanted anything to do with it so he's a very humble man he's into creating things normally like with woodworking and all of that kind of business i thought that would have been a lovely little storyline for him you can see with his like sort of tattered up clothes he's not really high on fashion like the lovely solomon is solomon loves them gloves he really does but um his brother is his brother's not ashamed of him his brother is kind of questioning why why he wanted to give up magic just because of his heartbreak and whatnot um but 
that storyline will come in a little bit later on into the let's play version of this that we're going to be doing but um and solomon just they're best friends they actually are best friends so they just absolutely adore each other they absolutely adore each other and i think um lawrence thinks solomon is just one of the coolest people and he's right because solomon definitely is one of the coolest people out there but i just wanted a single dad dynamic in this world i thought it would work really well in here and that's why we went with it that is indeed where we went with it so let's get back into this the lighting's going to be a bit flat in this because it's a cloudy day um says me looking up at blue sky and bright blue sunshine but i'm sure it's a cloudy day that's why it's like it anyway what we're going to be doing today we're going to be concentrating a lot more on the landscaping and stuff i want to get some more trees in i've just plopped these two here for the minute they're going to change around i just wanted a screenshot and it's so difficult for me to do decent screenshots for my let's builds because the build is never done the build is never done by the time i'm ready to do a screenshot and i'm just like oh it looks horrible it just looks unfinished and i'm always like kind of semi ashamed to share it on twitter because it just looks awful so I always make a point of saying to anybody like, it's not finished yet. She's unfinished. But that's where we're going with it. Maybe we need to pick different doors for here now that I'm thinking about it. But these really match in really well with this build. They very much do. I just wish that they had different, like, I know they've got lots of wood tones here. But I would just wish they had some different wood tones, to be honest with you. They're all very flat. Or just not matching in the vibe at all. I mean, we could go for maybe a colour. Mm, no, I don't see a colour being on here. What would you look like here? Absolutely hideous. That's what you would look like. Um, That's not too bad, but it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. I don't actually mind that one. That one's quite nice. And I might... Hmm. Choices. I'm going to go and find the perfect door. Okay, so I ended up just changing it for this flatter wood. It's sort of sitting in okay. And I ended up using this door from Cats and Dogs here. And I'm just going to keep this win this window moment a bit um, more warmer than the rest. But we have got a lot of logging to do. So I hope you're ready for this. I may not show it all, but I'm just going to show you the process of what I've been doing. Um, I've been sizing them down and just laying them on top of each other. Lifting them up with a 9K. I'm not going to use the tool mod to do this. So hopefully this should stay once you download it from the gallery. But as always, make sure you've got that move objects cheat on, my darlings, because you don't want logs falling down. <laughs> don't want disappearing logs. I had this like weird thing with the tool mod where they disappeared. I was like, where the hell is it gone? And then I went into this mode and there was just this huge log that covered the whole of Glimmerbrook. And I have no idea how that happened. And I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to delete it. But all was fine. I managed I managed to get it deleted. <laughs> I did. I managed to get it deleted. Is that one a bit big yet? We're going to maybe mix up the sizes of them. That could be quite interesting. And do I want to like... No, I'm going to tuck them in behind that roof line. Because that took me so long to do that. I don't want to hide it really. Same with you there as well, my darling. So yeah, lots. I'm going to put some greenery in this wood as well and just make this look really, really fantasy. Really fantasy and sexy and lovely and we're all going to be here for it and it's absolutely starf starving. I think it's because I'm hungry. I've got food on the brain, darlings. Absolutely stunning, I was meant to say, not starving. <laughs> what a silly bum. What an absolute silly bum indeed. Um, How are you? How are you doing today? I hope you're all right. I've had a pretty chilled out day. Finished off my speed build, ready for Saturday. Got another tiny build on the way. Um, you'll have to wait until Saturday to find out what it's going to be. But, um, which is stunning. I'm going away on the weekend as well. I'm going away um, down to a, it's a beautiful campsite that I've been to before. You've seen photos of it on my Instagram. My, my best friend's taken me away camping for my birthday. I'm just going to let that poke through there because we're going to be laying up logs all over that roof line as well um but yeah i can't wait it's gonna be so nice just me and my best mate just chilling out drinking a bit of alcohol putting the world to rights i'm gonna be here for it my loves i'm absolutely gonna be here for it really am um exciting news i um i've just found out that the tell me why game that we've been playing on stream if you've been coming to the twitch stream um chapter two is out today 
So I'm going to be playing Tell Me Why Chapter 2 tomorrow on stream. So feel free to join me 7pm BST if you can make it. If not, the VOD will always be down below in the description. So you can go and watch it back for free. I think people always got this misconception with Twitch that you almost have to pay for like watching back streams and stuff. But no, no, they're there. They're there for you to enjoy. Is this going to work? Yes, this is going to work. I can tell. I can absolutely tell. Um, it wasn't too hard to make the logs not actually kind of come through the main interior walls either. I was like, oh shit, here we go. I'm going to have to maneuver things around. And But no, it was absolutely fine. They, they, they're they all going through the roof line, so it doesn't matter so much. When you put the walls down and stuff, a couple of logs are floating, but we're not going to let that come between us, my loves. Absolutely not going to let that come between us. I really want to lift that one more, but I, I think it's going to show the roof line at the bottom of it. I don't want it to. Oh, you bastard. You absolute little shit. What about if I lift that up one and then lift this one here up one? <gasps> oh, stunning. Oh, yeah, this is going to work. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? I'll do the other side and then I'll do these flaps on the side and we can keep on chatting. And then I'll do it all off of camera and I'll show you what we come up with afterwards. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, this was a, this was a, I just, you know, when you come back to a build and you're just like, oh my God, I really don't like it at all. This was one of those times. Um, I just didn't like what I did. And that happens quite a lot actually with my builds, even with the speed build that I was doing. I went back to it and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it, but. I left it alone for a while, came back to it again, and it turns out I did like it because I've kept it as it is. Yes, this is going to work. This is going to work rather spiffingly. Please don't poke through. This here is poking through, this bit here, but um, I'm going to hide that with a bush <laughs> or a plant, one of the two. That's the only pokey bit that's coming into the house, which is stunning, and we're all going to be here for it, absolutely. Absolutely, my loves. Absolutely, indeed. Um... Yeah, I do, I do like this vibe. I do like this vibe. It's a task. It is a task, but we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. I'm going to get this build finished as well. Like last day of it is going to be tomorrow, um, which is probably where we'll get into the interiors and such. But um, yeah, we're going to get this get this done. And then Glimmerbrook is done for residential houses. We've still got to do the kind of Diagon Alley-esque um, thing that we're doing. With like the bar and one shop and all of that business. But I'm going to do that. Um, going to do that another time. I'm, I want to get over to Strangerville and start getting some law flowing through in Strangerville. And then we'll come back and do the. The. Um, Diagon Alley. Don't know what we're going to call it yet. If you guys have got any ideas down below. As always, I love hearing from you. I love hearing from you. So feel free. Feel free to give me some ideas, my darlings. Oh, is that going to creep in a little bit there? Or oh, it might do just a, just a tad. So if I can do that. Oh, it's just a couple of twigs. That's all right. A couple of twigs, I'll forgive it. I will forgive it. Let's have a look at this. Get that grid off. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, that's nice. I'm glad that we're going to be doing this all the way across the roof now. Just makes sense. Um, Let me do all of this off of camera. And I'll come back to you in just a second. My lord. 10,000 years later and we're here. This is what we've got. I actually really like it. I think it looks rather cute. Let me get in a bit of position for you guys. I really like it. I think it looks very, very cute. Was it worth it? I think it was, actually. I do think it was. I like the higgledy piggledy of it all. Of it all. I'm for it, I tell you. I still need to do some along here, but we'll do that just another day. My thoughts were maybe just changing this stone out here for wood as well. Uh, no, I kind of think I want a... Yeah, I do want a little bit of a different texture on there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way... <sighs> that was a task. I will not lie to you. It was a task. I was probably there for about... Half an hour. 40 minutes placing logs. Still placing logs. And no poo jokes, please. I know what you like. I know what you like out there. Disgusting. Disgusting. I'm so proud of you. So proud. 
Oh, that's not going to go there. Oh, we're pressing the Windows key. Oh, you absolute shit. Oh, well, just at the front. It's fine. Yeah, that's looking cute. That is looking very cute now. I do like it. It needs greenery. We're going to do all of that business. But I just want to get a bit more of this landscaping done while we're here. So, I don't want much, like, I don't want much outside space. Maybe a little seating area around here. That's about it. That's all I really want. Maybe just something over here as well. I don't like those stairs anymore. Those stairs keep throwing me. They keep throwing me. And I do not like it. What about if I take them really dark? Oh, that's better, actually. That is better, but maybe just a little bit lighter. Is that too light? That's too light. What is the differences between these? I think that one's a little bit more of a brune stone. We don't want a brune. Hmm. What about if I just use these then in the darker? Oh, that's better. Oh, smashing. Absolutely smashing. Right. Just a plain um, banister coming up here. Maybe go a bit darker. Yeah, we'll go a bit darker there. Can't really use that same wood, um, same fence here. So I'll have to use the one that will match in with this because there isn't no matching one with that other one. Because Sims, as always, my loves, because Sims. There we go. Oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And the same here as well. I want lots of like big, tall pine, pine, pine trees. I want some pine trees around here. My God. But look, you, we've still got quite a... Not a massive exterior, but again, as I said in the beginning, I do not want this build to be a huge exterior. I'm going to make this into the living area. It's going to be like an indoor-outdoor living area. Here for that. Um, I think I'm going to do Solomon's bedroom downstairs. Can I open this out? Oh, I can. A bit more space there as well. Stunning. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have Solomon's bedroom downstairs. I think that's the best way to do it. And then have the dad's upstairs. Yes. Okay. Right. Right, we've done that. Now let's get on with a bit of landscaping. A bit of relaxing, therapeutic landscaping with all of these gorgeous debug trees. Oh, God, I'm living, living for this new mod from Twisted Mexi. I really am. It's, it's the best thing that's happened to the... I said this today on Twitter. It's the best thing for me that's happened to the build mode in 2020. And I know that there'll be people out there that say, what about the window update? Well, the window update doesn't work. <laughs> It really doesn't work. Um, oh, what about... Can I place this here? Oh, God, no. Can I place that there? <gasps> no. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can. You can. <laughs> I'm sorry for these noises. Yeah, I can't place that there. That's a shame. Oh, there's a felled tree there. I've never even seen that. Stunning. See, and that's the thing with this debug thing. I'm discovering all of these new things that weren't there before. Can I get you in there? No, Aiden, just give up, darling. For goodness sake, just give up. Just give up and get some pine trees out. But um, yeah, the window update just doesn't work. It doesn't work like I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to being able to place windows anywhere. And you can't. <laughs> You've got to keep them like more than a tile away from each other and or a tile away from each other. And I just... I don't see the point in being able to move your windows freely when you can't. And I know that it's supposed to be a bug or something, but I'm not here for it. Really not. Um, where is this tree that I'm trying to search for here? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a very nice one. I will size you down, though, but you are definitely coming to join the party. You really are. We're going to frame you all around the back. Oh, I like that. Like the detail of the like leaves missing off the top. Very much here for it. Um, it's like this, but it's not. It's this one. No, it's not. God, we've got so many trees now, I don't know where they are. Is it this one? Nope, that's the exact same tree. Shows you how many objects that they copy over as well. Not for it. Understand it, but I'm not for it. The Sims makes millions, millions and millions a year. We should, we should get new trees. And that is the mantra that we're going for today. Right. Um... I still can't see it. Oh, it's there. This is the one in question. This is the one I wanted. Now, a few of these trees may be growing out of rocks, but we're not going to let that come between us, darlings, okay? I've put it on a bit of grass there. It's growing out of grass. <laughs> it's growing out of grass, okay? And that is the mantra for today. Grass. <laughs> grass is the mantra for today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, this is looking cool. Okay, a bit more around there as well. 
Stunning. Yes, need some shorter boys now. So some of these to mix up the textures as well. Stunning. Um, plonk you, plonk one of them like there just to hide that gap. And maybe one more at the back here too, just to hide that gap as well. Yes. Oh, let me see this with the roof up. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice shape as well. Nice, nice shape. Lovely shape of tree, that. Lovely shape of tree. Okay. Um, definitely want some of these bad boys in. I'm going to use some bigger ones, but also use some smaller ones with this. Oh, being able to hold shift down. I'm never going to get over that. Oh. Oh, stunning. Absolutely. Je ne sais quoi bleu for that. Absolutely gorgeous. 100% and utterly here for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Any more bushes? No, we're going to keep that. I'm going to patio in all of that, actually. So I'm going to do a bit of terrain painting now. Don't know why I said it like that, but we're going to go with it. Terrain painting all the way around there. Oh, maybe that one's better, actually. Oh, this is up a bit high, darling. I want you a bit softer. Maybe a bit more brune. Was that brune? Did it look brune? Yeah, okay. Maybe a mixture of them two, actually. I liked them two together. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, we'll place that all along there. Gonna do that as well. And I am going to mix them up, darlings. Just for a bit of interest, a bit of texture. Oh, and for that, really am. Yes. And we'll just put it around areas where it looks like they maybe move the soil or something. I don't know. I don't know where that storyline's going, but here for it. Absolutely here for it. Yes. And then all around here. What could go down there? That's leading itself nicely to something there. Unsure. Unsure as of yet. Unsure. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. I and mean, we would do it. I just did this roughly just for the screenshots, but I will go around and perfect everything a bit more now. Um, I'll put soil underneath where the trees are as well, including that bush there. Okay. Yeah, I want to make this look a little bit more regular over here. So maybe I'll drag a bit more of this outwards. Just like so. And then go in again. And then come out a little bit and go in. Because then what I'll do is go around and frame that stone with this here. And it just helps break the line between grass and rock, you know. I do like these little details and builds. I do. I look for them. I do. I might just bring that softness just a little bit more. Less. Just a little bit more hardness, if you will. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ on my day. But yeah, we've got some... Um, somebody asked me on stream last night. Oh, what style are you going to do Stranger Villain? And I'm going to do it in a... Kind of, it depends on what area. The like main town area, I want like a Western vibe coming through, but also with like apocalyptic or post, not post, but maybe the town have got this like sort of, I've got law planning for them, but maybe they've got this sort of edge where they're planning for this big disaster. So there's quite a few Maddens around, which I can't wait to like start these like sort of balmy characters. Um... Cannot wait to do a few of those characters. So yeah, that's the, going to be the main town. Think like Red Dead Redemption kind of New Orleans-y kind of style, but also with trailer homes and that kind of vibe. That's what I'm going to go for for the main town. Um, the area where the resi most of the residential lots are, I'm going to do in very kind of old school Victorian Queen Anne vibes. Really want to do that with a few Victorian houses here and there as well. And yeah. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments, my darlings. Let me know. Let me know. Thank you for all of your comments last time as well. Um, I appreciate you always leaving lovely comments and just lovely. We're just a lovely bunch of people in this community. I am so freaking lucky. So lucky to have you guys. Really am. Because I've seen other people's comment sections and I'm like, oh God, God, your, your community is slightly toxic. I won't tell, mention any names or anything, but yeah, it was just like really thrown back by it. Really thrown back by how toxic some of the comments were. I was just like, God, there's no need for that. So if you, as a community, if you ever see a toxic comment, don't worry, I read all the comments. So I always see them anyway. <laughs> Feel free to call them out. 
don't be afraid to call them out for being toxic. We don't, we don't appreciate that here. This is our space, you know. We don't appreciate toxicity in this, in this establishment. Not in the bumpkin household, I tell you. Because we will come for you, won't we, friends? Yes. Yeah. That's done it. That's done a little bit of je ne sais quoi blair, isn't it? Okay. Okay, here for it. Here for it. Right. I wanted a little seating area here, but I want to make it cute. So what, in fact, what I might do is just swap out a bit of that stone for some dark soil, actually. Darker soil. And maybe a bit there, just for some landscaping. I want this to look quite natural. And then that's a nice space there. I might go all the way in there, actually. Why not? Why not? Why we're here? Right, let's get into the bushes or the flowers, actually. And see. Oh, look at all of this. <laughs> it's all together like a happy family. I'm very, very pleased. I'm very pleased. Very much at. Oh. <gasps> oh. Will this look good on the roof? Um... Um, I can't tell just yet because a lot of it is, in fact, disappeared. Uh, no. <laughs> no is the answer to that. Okay, right, we're carrying on. Excuse me. Um, oh, this is what I want. No, it's not what I wanted. I know you're in here, darling. I struggled finding you on stream yesterday, actually. Uh, here it is. This grass of dreams that I absolutely adore. Not you, darling. You're not invited. That I absolutely adore. That I use everywhere on a lot of my builds. So we'll flop a bit there. Flop a bit there. You probably can't hear music, but if you can hear music, I am sorry. Tom has got his guitar out and he is strumming away. I don't think he realises that I'm recording, but we're just going to let him be. Let him get creative with his guitar. He's very good on the guitar. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think it is the guitar. I think it is somebody on Spotify or something. I think Tom's on Spotify. Well, either way, lovely, lovely bit of music for us all. We're absolutely here for it. <laughs> right, and we're just going to hide away some of this. Yes, it is cutting into the rock, but absolutely just shush. We won't. We can't see that roll now anyway. It's too small. <laughs> shush and a shush. Right, okay. Yes. Feeling that. There needs to be a vibe back here as well. So we're going to come through with this. Lovely. Can I? <gasps> oh, I can. Oh. Well, we're going to... Absolutely. Oh, where have you gone, darling? Why aren't you showing up? Stop being silly. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do is just try and hide that in as much as possible. Does that look weird? I may do, I'll do a bit of um tool mod and I'll put some things back here as well, just so that blends that in nicely, because that looks a little bit weird at the minute. But it's getting there. It really is. Okay. Feeling it. Absolutely feeling it. This window was up way too high there. Can I put that there? Eh, I don't think so. I don't know. What I need to do, though, is I do need to log a bit of this, um, this, uh, roof in as well. Sorry if I'm a bit everywhere today as well, guys. I've, um, had a really busy morning this morning. Lots of, like, at-home tasks to do. Lots of at-home tasks. So I'm a bit derpy. And also apologise if you can hear my PC kicking off. It all of a sudden wants to make known that it's working. Definitely this year I need to upgrade my PC. Really do. That is on the top of the list to upgrade the PC. Um, okay, well, we need one more down there, don't we, darlings? So did I do two then? I think I did. I'm going to lift it up. I've never done so much nine key lifting in all my life. My middle finger is like Hulk Hogan's bicep. Oh, that looks bloody silly. One more. Stop it. Stop being a shit. Seriously. Sheila. Work with me. 
It's because that one looks weird. And I can see the underneath there. So I'm going to do two on that bit. I am. You watch me, darlings. Watch. Off he goes. Little floating log. Oh. <laughs> that was a very uncouth. Poo joke. Poo joke on a poo joke on a Thursday. Why not? Why not indeed? Right, and you. Up you come. Up you come, sweetie. All the way down here. I'm going to spin this around. I've, I've tried to mix up the textures of those branches a little bit. Some of them does look repet Some of them do look repetitive, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I can see past it. And that's all that matters, isn't it, sweets? It certainly is. Oh, yes, this is looking good. Oh, I did it too much there. I'm going to spin you around again, and then we're going to lift you up again. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Ooh! Yeah, that's looking better. Oh, God, I'm so bored of doing this, though. Seriously. Give me two seconds. I'm going to get this little bit finished. There we go. She's done. That looks cute. I like that. Yeah, I do like it. Plenty like it, I do. Right. I want to get some greenery up here. I'm unsure if this is going to work. I think we need to go dark green. I like it. I'm liking that vibe. We definitely, definitely needed to go dark green. Like, maybe I could do like that. No, that's not going right for me. Is there any single ones of these? I think there are. But where they would be, I do not know. Oh, that's not a bad one either. That's a great bush, actually. Oh, darling, you're getting invited. You absolutely are. You're going to cover that rock, sweetie. Sort of. There we go. Oh, I like you. Well, I'm popping a few more of you around, babe. I'm calling a bush, babe. Well, why not? Why not, to be honest? Why not? If you want to call a bush, babe, you call a bush, babe. All right, babe. <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> That's such a British thing. We're going to finish this ivy off. The ivy looks absolutely shocking at the minute. We'll finish that off in a minute. I'm really, I really want these in singular. I'm sure they do come in a singular bush. Let's have a little goosey goosey through. See if I can find it quickly. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it quickly. I really do not. That's not it. I'm sure I've seen you in a single bush before. You're too light now, darling. Um, Or maybe I could use this thing because this is slight. Oh, no, that's not the one. This is a slightly dark bush and it would help that. It does need to be sized down, though. Let's get the grid on here so I have got some space to rise this from. Um, we're going to size it down. I just don't like the way that that one cuts off weirdly. Like, there. Please don't be creeping in. Oh, you little shit. There are a few twigs creeping in here, but... This house is supposed to be very old, and it's magic. So, what can we say? Yeah, I, that is working colour-wise, but obviously position, it's not. But I will be able to sort that out, I think, by maybe... Making this into almost like a... Is that going to be creeping in there? Oh, for God's sake. Stop it. Just work with me, Sheila. For goodness. <laughs> for goodness, Sheila. Just work with me. I've had enough. I've been sizing up and down logs like nobody's business today. And I don't need any more of your lip. Babe. <laughs> oh, this might work. This might work. Oh, no. We've got to do this more and more, haven't we? Oh, God. Right. Okay. Okay. That's too small. No. No. There. Right. This may work. Please don't creep in. Oh, you. I'm going to have to do loads of that. But let me just see this, actually, just to make sure. Actually, I don't like it. So I'm quite glad because I do not want to do that. But I do want some greenery on this roof. Maybe I could just have it creeping out the top here. Because it is in a good position for that there. At the top there, look. Maybe I need to size it down one. What I mean is like the where the two roofs meet there. 
No. Oh, I don't know. We'll sort that out. I haven't got a clue. We'll sort that out later. Okay. Right. We're going to sort the ivy out. We're going to sort the ivy out and do a bit more landscaping. And everything's going to be lovely. Right. You. Will you come down here? Of course you won't. Because you're a shit. You're an asshole. And I hate you. <laughs> That's my new single, by the way. Um, It's about an ex. <laughs> Oh, oh God. God indeed. Goodness me. Right. Let's start doing this ivy up here now, making it look a little bit more natural. Just clambering up, up the chimney breast. Up the chimney breast. I hate that the ivy's square. I wish they made the ivy oval. I know that's so fussy, but it would be so much easier to blend and make it look natural if it was oval. It really would. All right, bit of that. Can I put you there? No, because you're too big. And you're too big even when I size you down one. Uh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do not like it. Like, if they just made it in this in this shape, it would have made a lot more sense. It really would have. Instead of the stupid squares. I'm bitching about a bit of square ivy. How's your day going? <laughs> That's how my day's going. My day's going great, actually. I'm just bitching with the build mode, as usual. Guys, you know me by now. You absolutely don't know me by now. What can I say? Apart from je ne sais quoi bleu. Yeah, that's okay. That's not too bad. But I do need to now mix in the university ivy with this just to get the colours through. And I don't need to really size that down either. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, I'm for that. I really am. Really am. I'm thinking actually of cover... Now that I'm looking at the front of this, I think I'm going to cover the front of this... Oh, God, I sized it down one more. Cover the front of this ivy. Oh, God, I don't... Will they be able to get past there? Of course they will. If they can't, they're being very, very fussy and we're not for them. And they're not invited to my log cabin of dreams, to be honest. They're absolutely not invited. I think I need to do another one. Yeah, that's going to look better. Je ne sais Oh, no, look at the twigs poking out the top like an absolute heathen. I'm going to spin it around. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks cute. I do enjoy. I do. We need some greenery out in the front balconies here just to bring a bit of green in here. I don't want to climb the green up the wood, I don't think. I think I'm not going to do that. Okay. Well, this is starting to look better now, isn't it, loves? I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it indeed. I think what I need to do is one more log. I know this is like... Taking the piss now because I've had about 20,000 logs here. But just hear me out. I'm going to size it down one. Bring it out again. And I think it just needs a finishing point just here. Oh, je ne sais quoi. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely here for that. Right, and I'm going to add some flowers in. It's very green. I want to pop a bit of colour in here as well. Oh, that's pr they're pretty. They look very formation, though. I'm not into that. Not into that, loves. So let's go. Oh, where have you come from, my darling? Oh, look at you. Oh, well, you can stay. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, a little pop of red. That's nice. Taking up a lot of room on that balcony, though. But I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Right, flower-wise, I think we need... Maybe like a purpley blue moment. What the hell is that? Infection profile data. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe some lav. Maybe some lavender. Ah, <gasps> yes. But they have got better lavender. Lavender that looks a little bit more. I don't know. It's just got better graphics to it. Like the debug lavender. Oh, I've not even seen that either. Oh, God, this build mode is just a complete and utter different thing for me. Really is. Right, where are you, Lavender? Where are you indeed? I mean, that's the Lavender I want, but I want it out of the box. Um, Give me one second. Here we go. It was in um, bushes. It wasn't in flowers. 
Weirdly, that bothers me. Does that bother anybody that the lavender is in um, bushes and not in flowers? Because it certainly bothers me and I'm not for it. Not for it. I have placed a few around here and there. But, um, oh, that looks weird there. I think that needs a big moment over there. Uh, but maybe not that substantial. I just want to see it from the front a little bit more. Yes, that's better. That's much better. Okay. Um, I don't think the grass sits into the foundation. This here does, obviously. So I may just try and hide the harshness of the foundation with a bit of this grassage. Oh, look at that. I love this. Why can't it all do this? Look at that. Right into that foundation. Like an absolute heathen. It is floating slightly, but we will just say it's very magic grass. And not that kind of magic grass. Um, Do I want to get rid of this? Because I was going to put a little bench moment down here. But I kind of like that little bush there. Yeah, she's, she can stay. She can stay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it for today. I I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide just for today, though. Just for today. <laughs> okay, do I want a log bench? I think I do. I do think I do. A little log bench there. Maybe, no, in fact, I'm going to put the log bench on the here. A little log bench here. No. I'm going to put the log bench there. And I'm going to add in a rocking chair. Or two, actually. Two rocking chairs. In, oh God, swatches. <sighs> the swatches, the swatches, the swatches. I don't want it in black because you can't see it then. You can't see it against the, dark, the darker wood. So maybe I do need to go for these. Oh well. Two of these. This is where I would imagine them both putting the worlds to rights of an evening. Oh, I do like that. I do. And I think just underneath the window, I'm going to put a little red a box of red flowers just to match them with the ones that we put upstairs not in that size though that's taking the piss absolutely taking the piss and then a little uh plant just on um, what 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 do you look like oh i'd hate the graphics on that i don't like the graphics but i do want oh this one I do want a little tree just there just for a bit of pop of green there oh that looks so much better so much better. There we go, my loves. I think I'm going to leave this part here today. But I'm pleased with how it come, is coming out. I haven't put any windows on the back yet. It's because we haven't done the interior. So we'll do that tomorrow. Along with the balconies. Um, we'll furnish the balconies properly tomorrow. But um, I really enjoy how this is beginning to look. I really am. And I'm for it. Okay. There we have it. All finished. With the most of the exterior, not all of it. I'm probably going to tweak some off of camera. You know what I'm like. But um, I'll be back tomorrow finishing off the rest of this build. Uh, we're going to be doing the interiors and getting it complete. And I'll get it up on the gallery for you as well. And yes, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me some lovely comments. And I'll see you tomorrow.